Thank you for your time. My name is Betula, and this is Food for Thought. There's something I'd like to read to you. You don't always need a plan. Sometimes you just need to fly by the seat of your pants, breathe, let go, and see what shit happens. What is acceptable? Crawling, falling, puking, crying, bleeding, pain. The only thing not acceptable is quitting. No quitting. I like people with emotional and intellectual depth. People that speak with passion from their inner twisted mind. There's a rare breed of people that go all in. They keep their word. They give it their all. They go the extra mile for those they care for. These individuals hardly ever receive the same passion and effort in return. Yet never change and always give their all, hoping that one day, maybe, just maybe, they find someone as rare as them to love them as fiercely and as with as much devotion to the caregivers, forgivers, givers, and self-lovers out there Keep being beautiful. Don't let this cold world change you and take advantage of every little moment you are given. Rare breeds don't get hung up on the norm that society imposes or the opinions of those who follow a strict structure and set of rules that not a damn person asked us about. We don't take direction from the world. We direct our own world. Freedom is natural law, which supersedes man-made law. I don't know about you, but I ask no man to make laws for me. I govern myself as I live my life according to principles that I have remembered and cultivated in my search for the kingdom. It isn't the rebels who cause the troubles of the world. It's the troubles of the world that cause the rebels. Carl Oglesby. One must try every day to expand one's limits. Masatatsu Oyama, everything ends, youth, love, life, all things. Because they end, they are beautiful. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog, Mark Twain. The perfect partner doesn't exist. Look for someone that shares your interests, values, and possibly your passions. That's a beginning. Fate loves the fearless, James Russell Lowell. We individually give our lives meaning. It is the individual's responsibility. If it feels meaningless, that is on you. Just do it. I was hugely impressed. It was the ultimate example of a man who knew what he didn't know. He was perfectly willing to admit it and didn't want to leave until he understood. That's heroic to me. Randy Posh. With discipline, knowledge, training, we become masters of self to be the best that we can be. A man who has attained mastery of an art reveals it in his every action. Samurai Maxim, often credited to Gogen Yamaguchi. Meditation is a method of training our mind, learning about ourselves and radically transforming our very character and way of thinking. The 17th Gyalwain Karmapa. Don't bend. Don't water it down. Don't try to make it logical. Don't edit your own soul according to the fashion. Rather, follow your most intense obsessions mercilessly. Nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal. Nothing on this earth can help the man with the wrong mental attitude. Thomas Jefferson. It takes energy, mental toughness, and spiritual reinforcement to successfully deal with life's opportunities and to reach your objectives. Zig Ziglar. The angry man will defeat himself in battle as in life. Samurai Maxim. Do not try to become anything. Do not make yourself into anything. Do not be a meditator. Do not become enlightened. When you sit, let it be. When you walk, let it be. Grasp at nothing. Resist 
nothing a John Cha. One cannot expect positive results from an educational or political action program which fails to respect the particular view of the world held by the people. Such a program constitutes cultural invasion, good intentions notwithstanding. Paulo Freire, to develop a complete mind, study the science of art, study the art of science, learn how to see, realize that everything connects to everything else. Leonardo da Vinci, you are born and then you die. But in between, you can do anything you want. It's society that creates rules for us, but you can break free from that. Push the limits of who you are. Discover all that you can do. A life well spent. Those who stand for nothing will fall for anything. We are always falling in love or quarreling, looking for jobs or fearing to lose them, getting ill and recovering, following public affairs, if we let ourselves, we shall always be waiting for some distraction or other to end before we can really get down to our work. The only people who achieve much are those who want knowledge so badly that they seek it while the conditions are still unfavorable. Favorable conditions never come. C.S. Lewis. When you rest in meditation and the image of yourself fades, what's left? A brightness. A radiant emptiness that is simply what you are. Arya Shanti. Possession of material riches without inner peace is like dying of thirst while bathing in a lake. Paramahansa Yogananda. In fact, looking back, it seems to me that I was clueless until I was about 50 years old. Nora Ephron. All of life is a constant education. Eleanor Roosevelt. Forget safety. Live where you fear to go. A good book can teach you about the world and about yourself. You learn more than how to read better. You also learn more about life. You become wiser, not just more knowledgeable. Books that provide nothing but information can produce that result, but wiser in the sense that you are more deeply aware of the great and enduring truths of human life. Mortimer J. Adler. There's no shame in not knowing. The problem arises when irrational thought and attendant behavior fill the vacuum left by ignorance. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Education is a progressive discovery of our own ignorance. Will Durant. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Ralph Waldo Emerson. We must do away with the absolutely specious notion that everybody has to earn a living. The youth of today are absolutely right in recognizing this nonsense of earning a living. We keep inventing jobs because of this false idea that everybody has to be employed at some kind of drudgery because according to Malthusian Darwinism theory, he must justify his right to exist. The true business of people should be to go back to school and think about whatever it was they were thinking about before somebody came along and told them they had to earn a living. Richard Bucky Buckminster Fuller reminding us that working for a living or working to earn your right to live is illogical and in an abundant planet such as the one we share on spaceship earth. The enemy is fear. We think it is hate, but it is fear, Gandhi, to be the change you wish to see in the world. Thank you for your time.